In a recent live stage demo, Engine AI's humanoid robot PM01 took the spotlight, with the company's CEO right beside it. And what followed was a mix of impressive power, raw potential, and a few very human mistakes. One of the most talked about moments came when PM01 attempted to kick a thin wooden board. The first kick was undeniably powerful. The board snapped cleanly, but the robot immediately lost its balance and fell flat on the stage, completely motionless. For a few seconds, the audience wasn't sure what would happen next. Then, PM01 stood back up on its own. That single recovery moment arguably said more about Engine AI's progress than the fall itself. Now before we go deeper, if you enjoy honest, technical breakdowns of real humanoid robots, consider subscribing. No hype. Just real analysis. Back to the demo. Engine AI then showcased a striking sequence where the CEO and the robot threw punches toward each other. Visually, the punches looked fast, strong, and clean. The mechanical execution was solid. But there was an issue. The punches weren't calculated against a real moving target. They missed every time. Instead of reacting dynamically to the human's position, the robot appeared to punch into open space, suggesting delayed perception, limited real-time tracking, or conservative safety constraints. So while the power was there, the intelligence behind the motion still felt early stage. The kicking demo continued. On the next two attempts, PM01 failed to hit the wooden sheet entirely, either due to miscalculation, balance correction, or spatial error. But on the third attempt, everything clicked. A clean, accurate, and extremely powerful kick, snapping the board into two pieces. That final kick showed exactly what Engine AI is aiming for. Raw mechanical strength slowly being refined into controlled precision. And this isn't the first time Engine AI robots have shown this pattern. Recently, their T-800 robot made headlines after a demo where it kicked its own CEO, unintentionally but forcefully, once again highlighting a familiar theme. Impressive power, still developing control. To Engine AI's credit, they're not hiding from this reality. In fact, during the same event, Engine AI founder Zhao Tongyang made a surprisingly honest comparison with Unitree. He openly admitted that, technically, Engine AI is at least three months behind Unitree. But more importantly, he emphasized that the real gap isn't just hardware, it's experience. Unitree has been building, shipping, and iterating robots for six years. Engine AI, by comparison, has only been operating for about six months. That gap shows up everywhere. Motion refinement, stability, perception tuning, and most critically, commercialization. Zhao estimates Engine AI is at least one full year behind Unitree in bringing robots to market at scale. The numbers reflect that difference. Engine AI is currently valued at 4.5 billion renminbi, roughly 621 million US dollars. Unitree sits at 12 billion renminbi, or about 1.66 billion dollars. And even Zhao admits Unitree may actually be worth more. So why is Unitree dominant right now? Because their robots don't just move powerfully, they move consistently. They recover faster, calculate strikes better, maintain balance under stress, and most importantly, they've been tested repeatedly outside of controlled stage demos. Unitree's advantage isn't a single breakthrough. It's years of iteration. Engine AI, on the other hand, looks like a company compressing that learning curve at high speed. Yes, PM01 fell. Yes, it missed strikes but it also stood back up. It delivered a perfectly timed final kick, and its creators were honest about where they stand. That combination, transparency, ambition, and visible progress, is exactly how challengers are built. The gap is real, but so is the momentum. And in humanoid robotics, momentum matters. Thanks for watching. If you want clear-eyed analysis of robots without the marketing noise, you know where to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.